Hi guys, just wanted to introduce myself. Uh, my name's Rowan. I suffer from a condition called essential tremor. Um, I'm an exercise physiologist, so the sensors you'll see on my forearm are called surface EMG sensors, and they measure very basically the signal from my brain to my muscles. It makes my muscles contract. And so I wanted to provide insight into um, how the nervous system impacts our muscles and those with essential tremor. Often you'll see people with a tremor and you can see the shaking and not really know what's the cause. So today I'm showing you the cause. So I've had a tremor in my arm for a couple of years now. Um, it's slowly getting worse. Um, I've just had a workout. So with essential tremor, often it can be worse after exercising. So I'm going to share, you'll see I've shared the EMG signal from the iPad. I've linked it into the video so you can see in real time uh, my tremor shaking. So with EMG, like I said, it measures the signal from the brain to the muscles, the message that makes the muscles contract. So the blue sensors on my forearm flexors, I'll contract them there. So the harder I contract my muscle or, or intently contract my muscle, the bigger the, the signal is sent from my brain to my muscles to do that and make it contract. And then my big sensors, the orange, pull my hand back aggressively and you'll see the big signal. So you can see the, the definitive voluntary contraction of the muscles and then you'll see the involuntary contraction. So using the biofeedback of the EMG, I can do some things to help calm my tremor for a little bit. I put my hands in my pockets, so that gives me relief only for a short time, but it does let me escape from the, from the shaking. I can hold my hands together. I find that quite helpful at times too, to just reduce the tremor. And my tremor doesn't go all the time. Um, it's quite bad after working out or I've had too many coffees. Alcohol calms the tremor down. Um, when I go to bed at night, it fires away for 10 to 15 minutes and then it calms down and calms down completely. So I do get to escape from it. So I'm very fortunate there. Essential tremor affects millions of people worldwide. Um, it can affect people in both hands and arms. It can get quite violent. It can affect people's legs. Um, some people are unfortunate to have it in their sternocleidomastoid muscles in the front of their neck and it can make their head, head shake. But the purpose of this, I just wanted to show you from the nervous system, how it affects the muscles, what it looks like. And lastly, to finish off, the, the true cause of essential tremor, the source is not known 100% for sure. One theory is that there's conflict between the cerebellum and thalamus in the brain, they're firing off action potentials. Um, they're not in harmony anymore and those signals being fired off, electrical signals are being pushed into the motor cortex, into the motor neurons, down to the muscles and there we see it happening there um, in my arm. So uh, for someone, if there's someone you know who suffers from essential tremor or you see someone with essential tremor, hopefully that gives you deeper insight into what they're experiencing. Have a great day.